It's moving day for Larry and Donna Smith. Why am I moving? I'm moving to take a wonderful new job with uh, the yeah. California Nurses Association and National Nurses Organizing Committee that I was offered a couple weeks ago to uh, help with communications and helping nurses frame their message and helping get the organization's message out and working on national health reform. Ever so much packing away of stuff and it's hard because there's so many memories of you guys. There's so much. You know, from being in South Dakota and having you come visit, and help mm -hmm. us there. Mm -hmm. Help us get here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A lot of memories. Now they have to come to Chicago. She's crying in another film. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. You're being set up. You're <laughs> being set up, totally. Come hither. These numbers that Larry wears, he's updated several times because we, we'd often uh, point out, or I point out in presentations, about how, how the numbers are skewed in our thinking in this country. Because although it's tragic that we've lost 4,000 Americans more now in Iraq, and an estimated 1.2 million Iraqis lost, and an incredible price uh, uh, economically, we also are losing, uh, if we just start the clock ticking, the day we invaded Iraq, this time, March 19th, 2003, we've lost over 110,000 human beings in the United States due to the health care crisis, due to a lack of access to quality care. We first got them in uh, Manhattan on a bus, a shrink wrap bus for the California Nurses Association. We, uh, I often tell the story in my presentations, we pulled up at the Zigfield Theater in Manhattan to see Sicko, and on one side of the, of the limo uh, was this wonderful red carpet with hundreds of photographers. But on the other side of that car, out the right side, were these awesome people cheering and screaming. What do we want? Health care! What do we want it now? With all these red scrubs and t-shirts on, we didn't know who the heck these people were. And we went over and talked to them first before we went out on the red carpet to find out who they were and found out it was the California Nurses Association. And, they later on would invite Larry and I to ride on the bus from New York down to Philadelphia and into Washington. It was an awesome experience. So every time we wear one of these, we recall that transformation for us that occurred of being given back our dignity to speak out and to make a difference in this healthcare reform fight. And how awesome for me now that I actually get to do, do that for a living and help make it a reality for, for everyone and to work with the nurses who have worked so very hard for their patients and to move this agenda forward. As soon as I drop her off at the airport, I can come back to Hacking and watch them golf trip. What happens is it's working class, middle class Americans who can't access the kind of care they need to have preventative care, to get treatment at an early stage of a disease when it's more curable. So it's our neighbors, our families, our friends, people who are hardworking and doing what they were asked to do as Americans who are dying, 112,000 of them in the last five years, and it's truly tragic. And you know, you pack one box, and then you watch the golf tournament for an hour. Pack another box. And I do believe if the American public really would wrap their minds and hearts around that number, it would make a difference. If they saw it every day and saw, you know, another 70 of your fellow Americans, 70 people. If a plane went down with 70 people on it every day and all of those people were killed, that would lead the news every night. And so I think that's one of our tasks, one of our jobs, those of us who advocate for health care reform, is to make sure that it leads the news so that we start putting the right frame on this problem because it's not just a problem of, of ethics, it's not just a problem of, of money and of finances, it's a problem of people dying, of people losing people we care very much about. Hi! <laughs> China, you're not going to eat the story. I put my jerk on this already. Is she? She's on day three of antibiotics. But that's about as cheap as they can get in that area. Inside protruding. Hey, Dan, you're a boss, man.
You two just don't cry already. <laughs> yes, we will. That's our thing. You keep your mama safe, okay? You gonna come see me in Chicago? Yeah. Yeah, you promise? Okay, thank you for letting me stay in your house when we stay. Love you too. Bye. I think it would be better actually for him to have somewhere nice to come visit and he'll enjoy coming to Chicago. You take two tablets twice a day and I already gave them to you this you morning. You mean one? Two Mucinex. Two, four all together? Bye bye. I love you. I love you too. See you on the Chicago side. Okay, call me. Okay. Call me good before you get on the plane. Okay. Call Wait me on my cell phone. Okay, but you probably don't have a charge to Okay. I love you. Love you. Bye. No more kisses. She's three over.